Well, it's electric. GM is going all in with electric vehicles, even though sales are pretty bad. Why play that hand? Could it be because the White House is dealing the cards? A Fox Business Alert General Motors announcing it's going all in on electric, introducing the Spark. It's a mini car, no gas, all electric, but why? Sales of GM's flagship electric vehicle, the Volt, are falling well below expectations, and demand for the company's large pickup trucks and the SUVs are both soaring. Sales were up 34% in the truck front last month. My next guest says the answer is simple. The government and its green agenda are what's driving GM's decision-making. She is the car coach, Lauren Fix. Well, that's an interesting assumption because, of course, Lauren, they would say not true. We're leaving management entirely in the hands of GM. They decide based on the numbers. But you look at these numbers. They sold 200,000 cars in September, and the Volt sold, what, about 700? 723 Chevy Volts and 43,000 Silverado trucks. Wow. So people want trucks and they're going to buy them. But really, you have to think about it. They've got pressure with this CAFE standards with emissions. You've got California in their own direction. So you've got emissions and you've got fuel economy regulations. So they figured we'll come up with a small engine that's got three or four cylinders. That means a one liter engine to a 1.4 liter engine. Right. So one of them's electric, all an EV plug in which is not picking up at all. And the other one is a little three-cylinder, 83-horsepower, <laughs> gas-powered car about the size of a Fiat 500, which is also not selling in the U.S. 83-horsepower. I think my lawnmower 83. has more than that. It's extraordinary. I think i got to have my dogs pull me quicker. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fact is, Americans, look, they're smart. They, they see the price of gas going up. They don't want to continue to pay high prices. But you can get a truck with fairly decent, or an SUV with fairly decent mileage these days, right? Right, and every manufacturer is making cars that get 40 miles to the gallon. I mean, of the new Kia, it gets over 40 miles to the gallon. You can get a diesel vehicle from many of the German manufacturers that gets over 40 miles to the gallon. And then there's regular hybrids like the Toyota Prius, the new Prius 5, all in that range. So there's lots of choices, and they're not selling them like crazy. Initially, they did. But they're not, the sales are not there. Even the Nissan Leaf, what they thought they were going to sell tons of them. All right, well, let, let me just, Lauren, let happening. me just ask you here. Is, is... Mm -hmm. Is the government, is GM doing this just to sort of, you know, tilt their hat to the government? Because yeah. maybe it's that they're focusing on making the trucks. They're coming out with the new electric mm -hmm. models to make the government people mm -hmm. happy. But they certainly right. have enough trucks to sell. I mean, obviously, if they sold uh, 200,000 cars and most of them were trucks, they have a good inventory of trucks. Yeah. So maybe they're just trying to please the government, not really focusing on electric. Well, I spoke with someone from General Motors today after I started investigating this because the Spark was launched today, and they said, really, they're really concerned about California and the strict regulations that if they end up across the country, they're not going to be able to sell a lot of their vehicles. So with the Volt sales only being 723, which is a total of about 3,800 so far for the whole calendar year, that's not a lot of cars. No. They figured that if the government keeps pressuring them in this 55.4 CAFE standard, Every single manufacturer is going to have to belly up, and that means even Ford's got the Focus EV. You've got Mitsubishi coming in with the MIEV. I mean, Kia's coming up with a hybrid. Everybody's doing a plug-in or an all-electric car because they're scared to death that the government's going to say, you know what, you can't sell that Corvette, that Camaro, that Mustang, that, for that truck, unless you have something to offset it, even if it doesn't sell. And that doesn't make but any sense. No, it to doesn't make car, sense. And if, we, no if we want to get our money back, because again, we are still uh, one of the prime uh, stockholders of GM. If, why, if we want to get our right. money back, they have to start selling things that make money, right? Right. And, and I mean, there's, there's, they are selling trucks, and they do have some great yeah. product in the Cadillac line, and of course in the Buick line. But you got to look at the whole thing. I mean, they've gotten rid of some of their dead wood. I've been told that the government is hands off. I'm not there every day, so but I couldn't don't tell you. That. But you just flat out don't believe it. I have a feeling it. there's no. I really don't because I think the truth is when you're building these little one-liter, three-cylinder engines, they're thinking it meets a market need. There's no market need. The B segment, that the mid-size car, that Ford Focus, the Kia Optima, that's the, the Chevy Cruze. That's a segment that's going to double by 2015. No. And those are the numbers that you can really see. You can actually yeah. look at the analysis and see it yourself. You can't run a business when you have a green agenda like that. It just doesn't work. Lauren Fix, good to see you. Thanks for being good here. Good to see you as well.